Hi, I'm Sandata, Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Data Warehousing Series. Our topic for today is about Load Manager Architecture. Next is Warehouse Manager Architecture. And the last we have Query Manager Architecture. Now let's proceed to the Load Manager Architecture. Now, this component performs the operation required to extract and load process. The size and complexity of a load manager varies between specific solutions from one data warehouse to others. Remember that uh, we have three systems. Make it sure in the load manager we're talking about it is a data warehousing. Why? Because these three systems has its load manager each and every one of them the first one is the operating system the second one is the database management system and the third one is the data warehousing they are all have load managers but we are talking about here load managers in data warehousing which they extract and load process the load manager architecture the load manager performed the following function Number one, extract the data from the source system. The source system is the database system. The extract data is going to the data warehousing. Second, fast load the extracted data into temporary data store or storage. Uh, if it is extracted by the use of virtual data warehousing, it could be possibly fast load into a temporary data store because virtual data warehousing is considered to be temporary only so if we have a virtual data warehousing it is exactly the most and fastest load and extraction has been made but we need large capacity to do this third perform simple transformation into a structure similar to the one in the data warehouse so the transformation here is considered to be structured it means to say uh, what is needed to view uh, must be typed in the SQL structure query language that's why it is structured that is been displayed from the database transform into a data warehousing that we can manage on the view itself in figure 21 this figure show the process manager using the load manager so we have here the load manager at the left and on the right we have the data warehouse right here so under the load manager we have controlling process stored procedure copy management tool and the fast loader now right here we have the file structure temporary data store warehouse uh, structure now on the load manager if we're going to discuss this figure there's a what you call controlling process the controlling process is what do we need to view okay what are the exact field or fields needed to view okay now to view that field or those field that are needed you need to have a stored procedure now a stored procedure is a function a function that uh, it can compute through arithmetic logical and relational so for example um, we have a data of item and price but there is no computation of it so in the stored procedure as a function we're going to multiply the items into price to get the uh, total amount of that item so after on the procedure it will go to the copy management tool what this do is to get the exact total under procedure and put it into the pass loader so we can determine right now uh, how much is the total cost of all of those items or the addition of all those items now after that fast load it is mentioned also that it is been gathered through file structure and that is true okay now the file structure it exactly is the sql of which the load manager all of it 
are considered to be contained so after that it will go to a temporary data store and then go to the warehouse archi structure from file temporary to the warehouse structure now extract data from source the data is extracted from the operational databases or the external information providers gateway is the application program that are used to extract data it is supported by underlying dbms and allow client program to generate sql to be executed at the server open database connection odbc java database connection jdbc are example of gateway now uh, i'm telling you right now every application has its gateway for example i am you as a computer science we already created plenty of programs in the company um, if we are using uh, visual studio there is a what you call gateway under visual studio application development and if you're going to use a database like oracle sql there's also a gateway with the dbms so both application database management system and application system they have both gateways because these gateways both of them are going to connect to each other okay not only dbms not only sql even the application itself now because of that uh, gateway between the two application they're going to connect to each other and then they can call the data by the use of the application from the database and it will serve as a relay of extraction from the source so the source here is the database the application that will extract is the application system it will go directly to view by the client because of the help of this gateway now if there is no gateway at all then we can consider it as a flat file system flat file system doesn't need a database but it can produce data and it can extract also data and if you're going to ask me what are the example of that microsoft excel so spreadsheet we can use a spreadsheet for a data storage also and we can extract it also but we can call that in computer as flat file system another is there is no relational databases at all if there is no relational database in a database we can call it also in the database as flat file system it is considered to be one table only next fast load in order to minimize the total load within the data need to be loaded into the warehouse in the fastest possible time the transformation affects the speed of data processing it is more effective to load the data into relational database prior to applying transformation and check gateway technology proves to be not suitable since they tend not be performant when large data volumes are involved now on this uh, paragraphs the first paragraph is correct the second is correct but the third it is not okay gateway is the key and it is suitable even into a large amount of data and there is no way there is no way involved already on earth because i told you before that an application has its gateway and also the database has its gateway to connect to each other now uh, the first paragraph right here is simply uh, true but we need to have the algorithm to make it more faster because we are talking here of time so the more you code to have an output to view under the data warehousing or data warehouse the more codes the slower the lesser code the faster that is the idea and another in the algorithm is that we are using k character to make it more faster so those character like uh, percent sign just to search on the database itself even though it is million it can uh, display instantly in a most possible time that is the idea on how to make a fast load and what i'm telling is the technique that we are using already in the school 
uh, teaching this technique is very efficient and in company also using this in company is very efficient also which i already encounter all of this uh, second paragraph we have here the transformation affects the speed of data processing it is true because if you're going to rearrange the data then the speed of displaying or processing of the data may affect and that is uh, what you call the cause and effect if you change there is a cause of change there is an effect next simple transformation while loading it may be required to perform simple transformation after this has been completed we are in a position to do the complex check so it's better and that is the idea the same as i so as a professor i give to the students a very simple way then suddenly i'm going to make it complex why because if you're going to do first the complex if you want to give them simple way they think that simple way is a complex also and everything is complex and that is the idea of uh, one form in teaching make it more simple first if they understand then make it complex they can really devise it that this one is simple and this is complex but in terms of changing the idea you give complex then they're going to make it hard then if you're going to give simple it is the same as it goes to make them hard also now suppose we are loading the epos sales transaction we need to perform the following check first strip out all the columns that are not required within the warehouse that is true convert all the values to required data types that is true next warehouse manager architect warehouse manager a warehouse manager is responsible for the warehouse management process it consists of third-party system software c programs and shell script uh, the size and complexity of warehouse manager varies between a specific solution now the, the reality is not only c program we have plenty of programs out there that is considered to be functional and the uh, c program is one of the shell script we are using from the beginner intro fundamentals to advanced that is true because every one in computer science in IT uses C programs. Next, warehouse manager architecture. A warehouse manager includes the following. The controlling process, the stored procedure or C with SQL, backup recovery tool, SQL script, which I mentioned already a while ago. It is the same only. Uh, process controlling, procedure, the backup, the sql now we have here the uh, warehouse manager a figure figure 22 uh, an architecture that displays to the left warehouse manager and to the right this is uh, data warehouse now right here there's a controlling process next is stored procedure again they are the same but we have difference here backup recovery tool and another from the fast load we have sql script so that is the difference the two but on the beginning they are the same from the load manager operations performed by the warehouse manager a warehouse manager analyzes the data to perform consistency and referential integrity checks creates indexes business view partition view against the base data it generates also new aggregation and updates existing aggregation generates normalization transforms and merge the source data into the published data warehouse back up the data in the data warehouse archives the data that has reached the end of its captured life note a warehouse manager also analyzes query profile to determine index and aggregation are appropriate so we are talking here warehouse and it is the subject itself data warehousing of course everything that must be done in the load manager it can be done also on the warehouse manager why because the warehouse manager is the display okay the final of everything we are talking about next we have the query manager under the query manager we have the first bullet query manager is responsible for directing the queries to 
suitable tables. By directing the queries to appropriate tables, the speed of querying and response generation can be increased. That is true. Query manager is responsible for scheduling the execution of the queries paused by the user. That is true. Now, query manager architecture. The following screenshot shows the architecture of a query manager. It includes the following. Query redirection via C-Tool or RDBMS, stored procedure, query management tool, query scheduling via C-Tool or RDBMS, query scheduling by a third-party software. In figure 23, this figure show query manager architect. So when we set query, we are using database SQL. So that is database structured query language. So to understand this, there is a language in database that once you type it, it will pop up the display. You type of what is needed. And that is the query manager. So right here identifies the redirection, stored procedure, query management, and query scheduling. So it goes directly to the detailed information that is true, summary information. Detailed information and summary information can be done in SQL. If you want the table, uh, completely define the, all the fields, it is what you call detailed information. If you want only selected fields on the table, it is called to be a summary information. And after that, it will go to a metadata. So because you have the query, a metadata is something like a data of a subdata or a subdata itself or complex and short data. Detailed information. Detailed information is not kept online. Rather, it is aggregated to the next level of detail and then archived to tape. The detailed information part of the data warehouse keeps the detailed information in the star flex schema. Detailed information is loaded into the data warehouse to supplement the aggregated data. The word here is something like a star flake. So if you're going to ask me what is a star flake schema, so it is a design. A design on how the data world warehouse work inside of the database itself or maybe including the online maybe including also the online but because right now everything is online okay uh, in terms of business in terms of the application through government and they are all using a starflakes schema a starflakes design because the starflakes design is the recent design in the data warehousing so you can see that figure right here now figure 24 this figure shows snowflakes architecture so if you will notice this snowflakes architecture there is a what they call ew edw data lake or Hadoop, then logical data mark, okay? disaggregation. So this architecture is considered to be good enough. There we have here all of the data sources, unlike the the figure of the previous architecture we discussed. They are common and specific, but this right now are the new technology we have on Earth. So we are using the snowflakes. And again, snowflakes, they are connected online right now in the year 2020, even though before it is not. The reason for this is to make sure that everyone on using the online cannot copy without authorization, cannot download, cannot hack, cannot put virus. That's why everything is online right now. Even your cell phone, even your cell phone, for example, you, your cell phone doesn't have uh, antivirus, then you can gather viruses and then suddenly it's, it will stop your cell phone and you cannot use it. Imagine that into a data warehouse where Hodge databases are all inside of it and then one virus come in and it will destroy all of them that's why antivirus right now is also online it will check every time you open your system okay it will check on the virus if there are 
having a virus active inside of the dataware as a database. Note, if detailed information is held offline to minimize this storage, we should make sure that the data has been extracted, cleaned up, and transformed into a Starflex schema before it is archived. Now, it is better to say that we can use database, RDBMS, data warehouse, even offline, but it is not updated. It is not updated. That's it. Summary information. Summary information is a part of data warehouse that stores predefined aggregation. These aggregation are generated by the warehouse manager. Summary information must be treated as transient. It changes on the go in order to respond to the changing query profile. So to us as a computer science, summary information is that um, every everyone who uses the computer or every client needed to be logged in, needed to be logged out and determine what they do on that time using computers especially if they're going to use SQL or operational or they're going to analyze the data make it sure they have the access of it otherwise so it is an intruder so the summary information identifies all of the point to note about summary information are as follow summary information speed up the performance on, of common queries it increases the operational cost it needs to be updated when ever new data is loaded into the data warehouse it may not have been backed up since it can be generated fresh from the detailed information so this is something like posting if there are new data you will be post a message there are new data so you can analyze the new data so we have here the validation board as our topic we are finished with the load manager architecture the warehouse manager architecture query manager architecture congratulations you successfully finished our lecture number eight thank you and good luck